I notice when I'm pulling that I'm not engaging my lower trap and my serratus on my left side. So my back is gonna be developing in the right way. So I have to fix all these issues. And if I don't warm it up correctly, my body's gonna to wanna to fire those incorrect muscles because that's what it's comfortable doing. So what I gotta do right now is unlock the muscles that are bound. I'm gonna try and break them up, get some blood flow in there. And once I do that, then I'm gonna to try to re reintroduce the activity to them with some light exercises to get the mind and muscle connection there. So my body gets in the proper range of motion for the heavier, for the heavier workout. I'm foam rolling it. What I'm doing is I'm trying to open up those fibers, introducing some blood flow in there. It'll be ready to start activating. Rotator cuffs are one of the most common muscles that are tight and weak on bodybuilders. I've seen it a lot and it can affect your, your shape tremendously. You'll see my range of motion on this left side isn't quite as good. And it's very important to keep your elbow stationary here. I see a lot of people moving a lot. It's, you gotta understand what you're training. The rotator cuff controls the rotation here. So you gotta make sure that this muscle's firing. This one's tough for me right here. This muscle is not firing the way it should. I can feel it. The most important thing is saying when doing this exercise is to stay on top of your rotator cuff. Make sure that you're utilizing just the rotator cuff. You're not engaging your trap here. A lot of people shrug up and, and utilize a trap. So make sure your posture is good. You're locking yourself in place. And the only muscles that you're activating are the rotator cuff. Don't go super heavy. This muscle is not a big muscle. It's not very strong. It's a stabilizer muscle. Next one, I'm gonna try and get my lower trap to fire. So what I'm gonna do here is no weight. I'm gonna try and activate and keep my mind and muscle connection on those weak muscles. It's really easy for your body to want to take over with the surrounding muscles. So you gotta make sure you stay on it. Go light. I'm really just concentrating on not letting my upper traps take over. It's all squeeze, slow and feel. I'm feeling them open up as they're coming down. I'm feeling it contract. My serratus muscle's not very strong. It's being compensated for, for other muscles. So I gotta try and get this to fire before I start with my back workout. So this, what I'm gonna do here is for my serratus. And all I'm gonna do is all Straight as here, you're gonna shrug your shoulders up and I'm gonna bring my shoulders down. Keep my elbows locked, core tight, and squeeze. My left side's really weak, so it's, you might see it in imbalance. I'm just engaging my serratus muscle, opening it up, stretching it out, and I'm pulling down and back, trying to keep my shoulders set. I'm not up here, down. Stretch. Definitely feel a difference on the ability on this side. Very natural. The other side feels like I'm about to force myself to do this. It's because I have to, I am. Those muscles haven't been firing correctly. It's like trait learning how to learning how to walk all over again. So now I broke up those muscles, loosened them up, and I got activation back to them. Now they're firing. 
Make sure you guys take the time to do this stuff. You're gonna feel it, you're gonna volumize more, you're gonna have better pumps, you're gonna last longer. Let's get into it. I'm not gonna go too heavy this again. I wanna get those muscles to fire, get uh, the weight uh, familiar with it again. I'm gonna start with trying to target those, those lower traps. So I'm gonna go close grip here, kneeling at a 45 degree angle. My core tight, elbows right down to my Really gonna try and roll those shoulders down and back the same way I was when I was warming up. I'm leading with the motion. Really stretching it out, keeping it in alignment on the way up. Shoulders down and back and flex. Whew. Those are not the strongest muscles in my back right now, so. So right now I'm gonna start my workout with some isometrics just to make sure that I'm targeting that left side the way I need to. This side feels great. I don't have any pain. The other side, I'm feeling it all inside my armpit. It has to be because of all the compensation that my left side had to take care of during the recovery process. Dumbbell incline rows, <laughs> face down. We need some holds, I'm not gonna go too heavy to begin with and just try to get that good connection. Tell where my shoulders are, how I pull them down and through first. Stretch. Those really burn when your muscles are really tight and locked up in there. It just feels like, like an, almost like an Indian burn. You know, when your skin gets twisted on, I feel like that's happening like inside here. I know some of you guys have experienced this before. It's no fun. I know a lot of you guys, what you're gonna do is see how your, my trap's coming up. A lot of you guys are gonna do this, okay? The whole point is the exercise is to roll that shoulder back. Shoulders down and back, it stays down. You're pulling from here. This muscle is what's contracting. So get away from trying to, don't think about moving the weight here to here. Think about moving your shoulder here to here. It's here, here, 